we decided to remove the shroud. We hadn't originally thought about doing that, but I think we all agree that the more available air uh, that the fan can bite, the more power it's going to draw. So we decided to go ahead and remove the shroud because we've all seen guys running around with just a radiator, no shroud. Not a whole lot different than this, and I think you're going to be amazed to see how much power they're giving up. So their theory was that the engine on the right here, without a fan shroud, was going to make less power because it was in more air. Now, looking at it, okay, I get it. You can kind of see that. But being a helicopter instructor pilot, immediately in my head, I was like, nope, vortex ring state. On the engine that's got no shroud on it, right? We've got the radiator up here and the fan blades here. What's gonna happen is that as you got this airflow coming this way, it's gonna start to recirculate from this high pressure area on the back side of the blade to the low pressure area on the front side of the blade. So it's gonna start doing this developing vortex rings. The faster you spin the engine, the bigger those vortex rings are gonna get. That's why you see those little vortex recovery things on the wingtips of airliners, and you'll see ducted fans on the backs of helicopters for the tail rotor. And even on the Blackhawk, our blade tips are designed specifically to disrupt this vortex ring. So now if we look at the engine that has the fan shroud, what's going on over here is that you get nice clean air coming through the radiator, hitting that tip, now the shroud disrupts that vortex ring. There's no way for it to recirculate back in front. So what's actually happening is you've got more clean air on this fan. So on this one, you've got clean air towards the center, but out at the tip, you get all this recirculated air, which is doing exactly what Freiburger theorized about that plastic blade tip. So remember he talked about the plastic blade tip reducing its angle of attack as it spun faster and flexed? Well, that's what this extra induced flow is doing. It's actually reducing the angle of attack or the bite that the blade takes of the air. So it's reducing the amount of work done, hence eight less horsepower. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I really enjoyed explaining this to you guys. And as always, thanks for watching.